Hi, Lucy. Say, you're just the person I need to talk to. Would you believe it? I might fail Jim. Jim! How is that possible, Lucy? You're really good at Jim. Well, that's because I usually have good sense, just like the proverb says, and I listen and obey. I know that. But there's this new girl, Dottie, and she's in our group. All she does is talk, and she's going to destroy her gym grade and take us with her. Tell me about it. We were all in our group of five, waiting our turn to do the obstacle course. And Dottie talked the whole time. She didn't even stop and let us comment. When she took a breath, she held up her hand so we couldn't talk, and then she just kept going. We were all getting tired of it. Then... The teacher started talking and explaining what we were supposed to do. And Dottie still talked too loud for me to hear. Then the teacher said, Quiet, girls, and looked right at us. Dottie didn't even take a breath. She just lowered her voice a little, and I still couldn't hear anything. Why didn't you raise your hand and ask the teacher to repeat her instructions? Because they already started the course. We didn't know you were supposed to help each other, so I got stuck trying to get over a wall. I needed help. And then we did the crawling backwards, and then there was an obstacle that you were supposed to go under, and we went on top of it. Faye, it was a mess. We were in last place, and the teacher did not look happy. I understand. As we were getting ready to go to our next class, the teacher said we needed to be better at following instructions. But Dottie didn't hear that either. She was talking about how she liked her red tennis shoes better than her pink ones. I think I need to write her a letter, Faye. And maybe I'll just put in Proverbs 10.8. If you have good sense, you will listen and obey. If all you do is talk, you will destroy yourself. It might be a good idea to talk with your gym teacher and ask her advice. Do you think that will help? I think it's the best place to begin. And maybe the teacher could talk to her. Whew, that would be easier. And you can pray for Dottie, and the next time you cannot hear the teacher's instructions, raise your hand. That's good. Thank you, Faye. You're welcome. Have a great day. You too. <laughs>